okay, you know. A little okay. I don't disagree. It's, you know. Um, and by the way, it's the first night of Hashtag Tuesday Vibes. Yes, it is. It's so, it kind of is the first day. It kind of is the first day. JTSK. Yeah. Together. Mm -hmm. Together at last. It's kind of the um, first day. Okay, so I'm zhuzhing. Okay, so this <laughs> is where we're going next. I loves her, and here's the story. She is on an expiring easy pay. Everything in this two hours, which is your last of Denim and Company on the day, is on five or more easy payments. This comes in extra, extra small through 3X. Gary, it comes in three colors. I'm in Antique Berry. I am not a girl that can wear a wool sweater. I hate the wool. I it, agree. It itches. I agree. I, I also, frankly, I think nowadays, you know, like there is so much to shop for and I can't even stop myself half the time. So I don't want to invest in an item if I don't have to that you really can only wear for a small window. Mm -hmm. um, and I even think cashmere is beautiful, but still a lot of it still itches me. So let me just say hallelujah. Not only is the crochet around the neckline so awesome, but this is not, not a sweater that you will put away when spring gets here. Acrylic, poly, span. Thank you, ma'am. All right, shades. Do you want me to do them or you? No, you can. Okay. You're on a roll. <laughs> Natural. Natural. Which is like heathery. There's a heathering in this. Yeah, and by the way, this, if you come up <coughs> close, you'll see that we heathered this with gray. So we call it natural, but it also has a look of kind of a light heather gray feeling to this too. There's a behind that, Gary, won't you help me do the honors? A yes. seaport blue. Right. Any thoughts on that color? Well, it's again, it's a heathered blue color, but I, I love the seaport blue. It's a new color for us. I think, like you said, it's not something you have to put away right away. And it's, it, it, I love with the gray kind of crochet stitching. Mm, and then give the girl an antique berry. <laughs> this is my favorite. Not to mention of how soft it is, and but not to mention senior designer Denim and Company, how clever the addition of crochet is. Isn't that cool? Very. So I must tell you, Sean, that um, I looked this sweater up before I came out here, and it's got all five and four star reviews. So when the fans or when the, the, the ladies out there get this home, they see what it's all about, they love it, and they give it a really good review. This is not some inexpensive, you know, cheap sweater you're going to find at like a brick and mortar store. This is gutsy. This is gorgeous. This is, uh, it's not doing well over here either, by the way. <laughs> a little, little something take place on the side of the set, but, but we're, it's good. we're good. Everyone's fine. No one was injured. We're good. But you have to feel this, right? Yeah, there's a, there's a, um, there's a, there's a beefiness mm -hmm. and a thickness to this that for like 51 bucks and change, I don't think you would expect. Um, the easy pay does expire at the end of the day. And I don't know, Gary, I mean, I hate to say this because I know most people are coming from a place of we're not even through winter yet and they just want it to be summer. But I'm the reverse. I'm from Michigan. Mm -hmm. I love a great snowfall. I love a great ski sweater. I love sweaters at large because mm -hmm. of the cozy, yeah. even though this one you're wearing into um, spring because of the acrylic content. This to me is the perfect like Vermont fairy tale. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's a fireplace, there's a glass of wine, there's a good book. I mean, because it's just it looks great. like the most expensive wool sweater you would buy in the store, but it's not wool. And I agree with Sean, I can't wear wool either. Like that's the word, put, get wool next to me and I like break out in hives. But to be able to create a gorgeous sweater that maybe looks and feels like wool, but is not wool, when you try this on, and please, by all means, go on QVC.com and read those reviews. Uh, they adore this sweater when they get it home. It's, it's so beautiful. true. And the fit is awesome. But I will comment, too. Would you agree it's somewhat of a tunic length? It's a little bit longer. It's a little longer. And it also doesn't have, even though I've rolled mine under, it does not have a tight banded no. headline like a traditional cable knit sweater. Exactly. So right. it is... It's easy to wear. Easy in terms mm -hmm. of a relaxed fit. Yes. Hence, you could wear it, you know, over a legging, or you could. I mean, that's my point. It doesn't yeah. have to be like, you know, rolled under like I've done it and stop at the waist. It has a nice drop to it. It has a nice straight line, but it has shape. All of our sweaters have shape. And by the way, this is a full fashion sweater done in a sweater factory on a knitting machine. There's nothing cut and sew. And this is the kind of sweater you would find in a very expensive department store mm -hmm. in. 
wool and it would be very expensive. And so that crochet cute. is just the prettiest thing ever. Look at that. That's just gorgeous. Gary Goldman, 25 years the brand has been at the queue. Mm -hmm. How long have you been at the queue? 12. So tw so half of that And that's time. 11 more years than you. 11 and, and <laughs> Yes. No. You know what? All jokes aside, you and I have been here. I know. We have been here 12 years, We right? have been here the exact same amount of we time. Have. Yes. But I didn't know you started the year that I started. I didn't either. I was too busy trying to, like, you know, be a host and figure out how to chew gum and tap dance I all at what time. But how fun. You I and know. I celebrate anniversaries Look together. Look at that. So we're both going to get the gold pen yes. at the same time. Yes. I like it. Um, okay, listen. 500 of the sweaters now ordered. The easy pay goes away at the end of the day. Now, here's something that we asked... Um, you guys at midnight, we 